We just getting a quick shake. Fist bumps are in, and we're going to Yoshi's. Now, they struck to this stage last time, and I wanted to say that I think Double Fox does better. And I am going to say what I think again is that Richie doesn't care. <laughs> no, probably not. It's like, yeah, you're Double Fox, but we're Mewtwo King Club. It doesn't really, like, I, I think in, in a way the matchup stops becoming so important when you're getting here. Especially, I mean, you have three foxes. Too, really. Yeah, I think this map is good for all members yeah. in that there's probably a reason that they strike a, you know, FT or the Dream Land. Maybe you can get some pickup. What was that shield sequence on? Oh, yeah. Eight, six right now. Yeah, I, how can people lose stocks this quickly? Uh, Mewtwo King's what pretty good. Heck? It, it's so hard to kill Mewtwo King. Yeah, he's invincible half the time. Yeah. <laughs> just look at him go. Yeah, he does the ledge play really good, whether he lands or with the back air. Like Cobalt just like was just there. He didn't attack at all. Okay, good short for Cobalt. Got yeah. the kill and pull up. Really possible attempt on this kill for Sheik, but she's gonna go high. Oh, he goes barely for misses Randall. It. Yeah. Eh, yeah, just barely. Really good transform attempt though. Yeah. It's such a smart thing to do. Whoa! Oh, Mewtwo King misses the edge and then just continues fast <laughs> It's really hard when the camera is like not focused on you. Yeah. Some of those visual cues are different. Great light shield switch by Ryan Ford, but he's gonna get smacked up in the air. I really think this this is going to come down to how well Cute Smile does in terms of um, chaining attacks on, on Mewtwo King in specific. Yep, yep. They have the possibility of just doing sick launchers into like back air, back air. But Mewtwo King has really great position. He's never caught in between the two. Yeah. He's always like edge guarding them somehow. Nice up smash coverage from Club there. Pretty much no matter like Mewtwo King, what he did there. So yeah. Be up smash. Yeah. Stock lead for red team, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Mewtwo King could die here from edge guard attempt. Possibly Club. Oh, uh, it's really difficult for Ryan Ford to go down into that section where Mewtwo King was recovering yeah. and Plup was just kind of hanging out in shield. Yeah, really good patience from Red Team to just slowly come in. They didn't rush their uh, counter. Uh, oh, that could have been a ledge grab. Oh, no! What happened? Cobalt makes it back. Cobalt makes it back. And is he going to get that? No, oh, he goes not. for the up air attempt. I like the kill. Yeah. Okay, that he could have followed up off that nair, and he does. Okay. What a great block coming out from Ryan Ford on the team. And it's, look at this stack count. Look how even it is. Now, Cobalt, that F smash at zero is not very good. No follow up. Uh, F smash at zero is pretty good. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had a free hit right there. F smash happened. He crouch canceled, and then they got, like, cornered really, really bad. Mewtwo King just throwing fairs out in the middle of Yoshi's. Yeah. I love when you see people get the really pro tech. The one we saw right at the end there, where you go nowhere, you tech the platform, you're about to die, you tech the platform. And then you get hit again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the great thing about the. It's like you, you almost never see it save someone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. So what happens is like the better player with is going to use that defense, and then it, it, it's like an arms room almost where the offender, the player on offense, right, has yeah. to has to cover it. You know, I'm going to do a low commit move in anticipation of this tech, so that I can hit the tech. We're on Pokemon Stadium. Really great stages for we get to here. Cute smile. That how did he miss that shine spike on the right side? Are they just gonna let Plup come back? They are. Yep. Um, Target switch was exchange for killing Mewtwo King. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty good idea. Yeah. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but still well executed. Look at the shield game. All three foxes who are just like I don't want to move anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be my shield. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> It's actually kind of uh, bad positioning for the teammates to be shielding next to each other. Yeah. It's so hard to make that move. This dash attack to dash attack to dash attack does not resolve the corner. Oh, is Mewtwo King gonna... No, he's not gonna die here. He makes it on stage Weird, weird fall off though. Yeah. Okay, Plop gets the up smash. Cobalt might be dead here. He could have double jumped into that shine. Yeah, but he didn't want to spend not. both jumps on an off stage. Now red team is being edge guarded. And this could be the kill on me. Oh, and there's no reaction. There we go. That okay. was sick. No reaction work. on the shine, but the jab up smash makes up for it. Yeah, they, they even used two foxes to do that combo, right? <laughs> yeah. Jab up smash. Yeah, you don't even need two foxes. <laughs> they did, though. <laughs> they have an unnecessary fox in this combo, but they'll take it. All right, Mewtwo King is burning his jump right now. He's going to get it back. Ooh. I like, I like I like what they got going on Plup here. Uh, Plup's oh, still in it, though. That down tilt was a little early on the timing. Great attempt on the save. Double up here? No, almost. 
Ryan Ford's positioned himself so well to pick up these straight hits off of Cobol. Cobol yep. going over to help his teammate, trying to keep Mewtwo King out a little bit there, and he succeeded for a bit. And usually we see Mewtwo King with a higher stock count, but this game he's been incredibly aggressive. It does look like Plup has the stock lead over his teammate at the moment. He most certainly does now. Yeah, Cobol somehow makes it over and Plup and... Ryan Ford! Survived like three back airs there. Yeah. Plup left the ledge to, I think, kill his teammate. Mewtwo King is playing this ledge really well. He's on his last stock. You gotta get this. They have to kill Plup. Mewtwo King has been doing this thing where he jumps over Plup and just comes out with these falling aerials. And it's very strange for Mashik to, to see these moves come out. Two reverse hits of Fair. I like Whoa. it. Oh, and that's a shine. This could be a kill on. No, no kill on Plup. Almost. Getting caught in shine with those two lasers. You can't jump out of shine when you're getting hit by those. You have to wait a moment. Uh, but Plup was able to get out just in time to grab the ledge, whereas otherwise he would have had to up be and never got shine for it. Yeah, shine, up being below the stage is spelled out shine spike, right? Yep. yep. If you go below the line, I've always considered it like that. It's a little <laughs> line. If you go below the line, you can get shine you're spike. You're dead. Yeah. Stay above it. <laughs> Red team on this very small lead. Any moment it's gonna disappear though. Again, it's the same thing. They need to kill Love, but I don't really know that they're gonna get be able to get it here. This tech on the windmill stops she combo. Almost. Is that it? That is it. It's okay. Plup still's got a fresh zero percent stock. Yep. Fresh box is the scariest if they, box. If they can kill Mewtwo King here, they'll be in a solid spot where they can just have a consistent 2v1. <laughs> Mewtwo King, of course, just resetting this position. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's so good at this. He's, he's living and breathing over there yeah. right now. <laughs> And I'm just waiting. Plup is going to find this up throw. Yep. Another great part about Mewtwo King's strategy right now is that the transformation favors Double Fox. So the longer he stalls this out, the better. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, that was, that was a really far reaching uh, up throw. Yeah, yeah, that up was crazy. At this point, too, like, Mewtwo King just has the whole stage. You know, he can he can go back and just wait with some needles. Exactly. Um, and just hang out while Plup exactly. does more of the work. Plup got seven, seven kills. kills. That's insane. That's that's the work of Fox though, right? Where like Sheik is building up great damage, has the opportunity for Gimps, yeah. but really is the support player. Yep. And we're going back to Pokemon. Yeah. I think this is a great choice for them. Just the execution of the strategy is very difficult. Plup has been winning a lot of these 1v2s, and that should never happen in the, the 2v1, right? Not in the 2v1, though. No. Okay, that could have been an up air on Mewtwo King. Yeah, Cobalt looking a little slow on that follow-up. Yeah. I think one of the one of the th things we're we're seeing is that with certain teams you're going to see a lot more of uh, deliberate follow-ups like Pufad or Uggs, and those you'll see are like okay we're not going to waste anything we're just going to go for like the up air now, and I think that's more of a rehearsed thing in, in certain ways uh, where most people are going to opt for like nares and that's what we're really seeing but uh, there's a couple of moments that those uh, up airs could have actually taken stocks. Yeah, and it's a little hard because you have to preemptively space it, but Mewtwo King fighting in that corner for like 30 seconds and always wins the resolution. I have yeah. no idea how it always favors him. Okay. Mewtwo King gets out, gets killed by his teammate though. Yeah, it was a perfectly placed up tilt for the roll. <laughs> it was a really good up tilt, but not, uh, not for your teammate. It's so crazy how that move is so perfect, right? Fox up tilt. It's a kill move, it's a combo move. No ledge grab coming out from Mewtwo yeah, King. It's a great, la great launcher. Okay. Ryan, Ryan Ford, Ford just getting some damage in. Yeah, I like it. He held middle ground really well for Cobalt to pick his position. So much shielding from the red team. It's good. Sheik's shield is super strong. Look how big that thing is. You're never poking that. Like, Plup can just like quickly throw up a shield and just move around. Yeah, his auto shield game is super sick, and he knows that Mewtwo King is paying attention very closely. Yep. Cobalt has got an edge guard attempt. He's going to use go. his teammate to, to cover those options, and I like it. You want to kill Plup as fast as you can, right? Yeah. No missed kills. I mean, in, the, in this case, there, it's both. It's very difficult to, you know, to say you want to kill one quicker than the other, specifically speaking. You, you want both of them out of there as fast as you can. Oh, I agree. Um, it's hard to just target Mewtwo King, though, because he's been playing in that corner. Yeah. Exactly. And, that, and that's what he wants. Stock count is in favor of blue team for the first time. And Collins is employing these full hop aerials, but they have not won him middle like last game. 
Club had some good damage going on there. And, uh, or sorry, uh, Cobalt had some, had some good damage on up there. Yeah, really counted there. Yeah, just keeping it in the, in the left side of the stage for a while. Good jab reset into up smash from Club. Club is just controlling this right side so well. Yeah, I got both go, both of the uh, blue foxes off stage. Mewtwo King coming in for that save. Really good awareness. Can't just hold the middle position. That was a cluster. Up smash your own teammate. You can see Mewtwo King's just waiting there. He's like, I'm just not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm... Always surprised at how he can be in a spot and not take damage. Yeah. And you, when you watch it, I, I would think like, just grab him, right? There's something that's get that happen. up there. Oh, good DI though. Um, but you know, you think like, well, why don't you just grab him? You know, don't don't do aerials. He's literally shielding, facing backwards in front of you. But in in the moment, it, it's so it's so crazy difficult. to encounter that. Yeah. Blue team had a small lead, and now it's just up to it's Ryan gone. Ford. He definitely stole that stock. All right, Cobalt had his moment. Where's Ryan's here? Ryan's got to take out two top 10 players maybe in a 2v1. Yeah, maybe this is Plup's moment. Oh, and that, that really messed up the edge guard attempt. Jeez. He almost got a shine spike. What you, you, don't even do any, you can't even do anything there, really. Oh. Oh. Let's nice block by Plup. He almost got double shine, and that could have been instant death. Let's go, Ryan. If there's one character that can do this, there he goes. it's Fox, but yeah. that was a bad ledge refresh. It's so hard to keep invincibility on the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. That's If you ever see someone trying to ledge refresh with most any character, uh, the first just, one's the hardest. Just try to hit him on the first one. Yeah. Go for it. Probably get him. Especially the let go double jump, that one's not safe at all.